Hello and welcome back. Uh, the next program I want to show you is Onyx. Onyx is also free and open source and it's a nice alternative to uh, R and Laravel and Jasp. Um, also because it allows you to um, estimate your model in a very different way or specify a model. It allows you to draw a model. You can get Onyx from onyx.brandemeyer.de um, and it's, uh, you can download it here and there's some uh, documentation and some screenshots um, uh, available on this website. Now once you download the model, uh, the program I mean, you get this jar file, you can right click it and open it in Mac, otherwise you might complain about uh, it being downloaded from the internet and not being safe, but it's a pretty safe program. Now what you might see is that this program looks very different than you might be used to. It's basically completely white, there's no uh, menu whatsoever. Everything in Onyx happens via these context menus, where you right click and then I specify things. I can right click, load data. I can also uh, take my CSV file, the same one again, drag it, and then I have my data in Onyx. Let's uh, make this full screen now. And now I can create an empty model. I double click, I have an unnamed model, I right click. I can name it, say, CFA. Let's make the small one a bit bigger. Now I can um, take my variables from my data set, these first 10 that I'm interested in, and drag them to this model. And you can see they're really nicely placed immediately in the, in the model file. I can change the way they look like. And one thing I like to estimate is I have to always look at where that is in the uh, thing, customized model. Change grid properties, lock the grid. It allows you to have a small grid, which means that um, they're sort of nicely spaced from each other. Okay, so now I have a very simple model, a baseline model, where I have only residual variances. Now I need to estimate a latent variable. So what we can do is we can double click and we get the latent. Let's rename this to, um, and now I have to peek at my R file, prequels for the first and originals and sequels. So let's say prequels, originals, sequels. Oh, got to make one. Sequels, and now I have three latents. Now, of course, you need to specify factor loadings. Let's make that a bit nicer. Give it a pick on top. One way I can do it is by um, holding the control button and then dragging while I have left click as well from one variable to another. And then I specify a factor loading. I can do that for all variables. And then for every latent, I can specify the model like this. Now, there are actually some nice tricks to do this faster, uh, but I won't really show them now because it's, uh, this works. One thing I can do is I can select them all, right click, say three parameters because we want to estimate these. And one thing you can see, you already get parameter estimates. Actually, every time you add something, you get a parameter estimate. This is nice. Let's select these and fix these. One. Which will uh, equate uh, scaling in the latent variance. And now they're all fixed to one, but all these factor loadings are freely estimate, made it. Now one thing we need to do still is add covariances at latent level. I can use Ctrl and Shift to draw an edge, and it will be a covariance. If I do that wrong, I could right click this and change that. And if I think double click it, I get these things that I can make it a bit bigger. This looks a bit nicer. 
degrees, I want to 3D estimate. And there we have it. Now this one I might want to drag around, that's actually a pretty nice thing I can do now in Onyx. I can change the model in any way I want. I can make these path diagrams pretty nice. And that helps a lot also with checking if a model specified uh, correctly or not, etc. Now let's look at some uh, fit measures. We can go to right click, show estimate summary. And then we get a ton of information about the model. For estimates, we have uh, 30 degrees of freedom. We have a chi square of 34.579. I'm not entirely sure it's the same as Navan, it might be a little bit different, but it should be about the same. Uh, and we get our RMCA, we get some fit measures. One thing we did is we added a residual covariance. We can do that. So control shift between these. Uh, to uh, a special effect, let's say free parameter. Now let's look at our estimate summary again. And then we get uh, pretty much the same results with the Lafan, 29 degrees of freedom, a chi square of about 25, and a uh, very good fitness. That worked very nice because you immediately have this picture. And then uh, there are some things we can do. Um, we can change the background color, which is always nice. We can apply a path diagram style. I actually have no idea what happens here. So let's do red or orange. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we have. Um, metal, always good. And we get a very nice looking path diagram. And uh, there are options as well to hide these kinds of things as well. But this allows us immediately to see um, what model we estimated and how strong it is. Here you see that these are uh, likely not significant effects, or at least they're very small. Uh, so that gives us a lot of insight. Alright, that's it for Onyx. Um, next I will show you uh, a very experimental package uh, called Psychonetrics.